Hello, dear students. Greetings of the day. I welcome you to the online classes of Blooming Birds Code School, Sambal. Today, we are going to study about identification of landforms through contour diagrams. In uh, board exams or exams, one topo sheet is given, and on that topo sheet, such contour lines are drawn. And on the basis of the pattern of those contour lines, sometime they ask that which type of landform that particular topo sheet is having. That question may be asked in one mark or two mark. So today we are going to understand how we can uh, understand different, uh, different landforms on the basis of the patterns of contour lines on our topo sheet. So, if on a topo sheet, if the contour lines are drawn this way, they are far away from each other, right? Then that type of landform is a gentle slope. And suppose if the contour lines are very close to each other, then that type of landform is having a steep slope. And suppose if the contour lines are in circular pattern and close to each other right then it uh, uh, it looks like a conical hill so we can say that particular topo sheet is having that conical hill and then suppose if at the center there is no contour line and at the edges we are having contour lines like this so this type of uh, you can say pattern is drawn when there is a when the platform is plateau so uh, basically, only these things are asked about gentle slopes, about conical hill, about steep slope and about uh, plateau. Earlier, there were so many other landforms like ridges, like U-shaped valleys, V-shaped valleys, escarpment and uh, gorges and uh, uh, these, th these landforms were also there, but due to this uh, Corona COVID-19 pandemic, ICSC has reduced 25% of syllabus. So this year we are just going to study this much only and this conical hill plateau and uh, gentle slopes as well as these uh, steep slopes will, all, will only be tested in exams. So this is the pattern. Now suppose if one landform is given to you, then how will you draw contour lines for that? I'll teach you that also. So suppose Suppose this is the part of hill or a gentle slope. Slope of the hill, the gentle side of the hill. So how will we draw the contour lines for it? So how we will draw? We'll just write here A and B. Okay. And uh, here we will number it starting from you can say 0 to 100. This is 0, then it is 100, then 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, like this. Then what we will do, we will draw line from here this way, mark a point here, and a straight line this way, mark a point here, one line here. One line here is going upside. Okay, so leave that right. And from here, we are going to draw vertical lines. One line here, one line here, one line here. And then we are going to draw the 
contour lines for this. This is as this is one side, so we will just draw like this. In this manner, you will get contour lines. Okay. So this is for gentle slope. And suppose if hair only. If I'm doing this like this, this is half of the picture. This is gentle slope and this will be a steep slope now. I have taken two examples in just one picture in order to make it more clear. Right? So now what we can do here, like this here, we'll do 400. Here also, we will take this will be 100, this will be 200, this will be 300 and this will be 400. So the height should be same, 100, 100, 200, 200, 300, 300, 400, 400. This is what? This is height or elevation, H E I G H T height or elevation of side. Right. Now from here also 100, here it is, we will draw a line here like this, 300, like this here, 400, okay. So wherever these lines are cutting, this point, this point and this point and this point, we will draw vertical lines, like from here we will draw, here we will draw line reference A and B, this is line of reference, then we will draw Okay. Now, this is 400, this is 400, 400 line will be joined by 400 this way. This is 300, this is 300, 300 line will be joined by this 300. Here 300 is getting joined by 300. Now, this is 200 and this is 200. So, this 200 line will be joined by this 200 line. Here this way. Now this is 100 and this is 100. So 100 line will be joined by this one 100 like this. So here, when you see, you will find that here the contour lines are wide apart and here contour lines are very close to each other. So when the contour lines are spaced wide apart, so it means that this portion is having gentle slope. And when they are spaced very close to each other, it means it is having a steep slope, right? And as this is, this is a conical hill, so this round circular line, you can say is a conical hill, which is having gentle slope this side and a steep slope this side. So by one diagram, we have understood three landforms. This entire as a whole is a conical hill. This side, this slope of hill is gentle slope. This slope of hill is steep slope. For gentle slope, we will get these types of contour lines this way, right? Far away, uh, spaced. And then for steep slopes, the lines will be spaced very close to each other, right? And they are spaced far away from each other. They are spaced very close to each other. So by one diagram, we have understood three landforms. This is how we draw uh, contour lines for landforms. Now let us understand about plateau. How we will we draw contour lines for plateau? See, in exam, you are not going to in board exam particularly, you will not be asked to draw contour lines okay, for a particular landform. 
but you will ask opposite thing contour lines will be given to you and you will have to just identify which type of landform these contour lines are representing okay so you should know both the things how to draw contour lines also and how to identify uh, particular landforms by looking at the pattern of contour lines now what we will draw we will draw this is what this is a plateau this is plateau now again what we will do we will draw lines two sides here also and here also from here zero here also zero here we will take 100 meter just for example we are taking okay it may be anything here 200 meter here 300 meter space should be equal between these these height intervals or contour line interval this is 400 meter this is what this is contour line interval and this is 500 meter by this we will uh, come to know that how far these lines are spaced what will be the density of this landform here 100 centimeter 200 centimeter 300 centimeter and again 400 centimeter here 500 centimeter so 100 100 right this one point and what we will do we will just take a point of reference here a little higher sorry when you will draw it with the scale it will look very nice b this is a on this line we will draw the contour lines okay so 100 again what we will do we will draw a vertical line like this here showing 100 then this is 200 then again here this is 300 again here this is 400 again here this is 500 again here for this 500 here 400 here 300 here 200 here here okay right now as the top of this plateau is flat okay so this will be means here there will be very huge space at the center right and at the ends the uh, contour lines will be spaced very close to each other so starting uh, from if we start from then what we have to take we have to take the same lines 500 500 right 400 400 right 300 300 200 200 and 100 100 right so if you will uh, start drawing lines okay like this this will be 100 so this line this this is getting joined with this 100 and this will be getting get joined with this 200 okay the space will be this much right and here it is 300 so space will be this much only 300 joining this one 300 like this here 400 will be joined with 400 like this 400 
and this 500 will be joined with 500. So this one line representing how much? 100 meter. This one line representing how much? This one line 200. This one line representing how much? 300. This one height is 400. Sorry. This one is 400. And this one is 500. Okay. Likewise, this one 500. This one 400. This one 300. This one 200. This one 100. Like this, we will draw contour lines. Okay, for a plateau. So, in exam, you will be given this type of uh, contour lines, this pattern of contour lines. If in topo sheet, this pattern of contour line is here, having too much space in between, like this, then you will have to write that particular landform. You will have to name that particular landform as plateau. Okay. This was all about the contour lines. Thank you so much.